what if I tell you that you can do a research internship in this university and get a direct entry into this university's fully funded PhD program? Hi guys, this is Raisha and I welcome you all back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to tell you about the OIST research internship which is the Okinawa Institute of Science and Technology, and it's based out in Japan. I have lived in Japan for two years, and I can vouch for the fact that it's a great country. And if this is something that you would want to do, and this kind of research opportunity excites you, you want to learn about the Japanese culture, their work ethic, and the kind of research that is carried out in their universities, then you should definitely check out this opportunity. Let's move to the website and see how you can apply to this internship, the eligibility, and all the documents that you would be needing to apply for this opportunity. So this is the main website where you can apply for the OIST research internship. If I scroll down, we find that this internship is about two to six months long, and you get to work directly under the OIST faculty, and it's going to be a great learning experience. There's also a link provided over here. You click on this and like directly apply for this internship. We'll move to this later on in the video. Now, before you apply to any such opportunity, you have to see the pros and cons. So you'd want to know what kind of support they're offering to their interns. So OIST research interns are provided with a stipend per day that is about 2,400 Japanese yen, which is equivalent to 1,500 rupees. OIST research interns are also offered a round trip allowance. That is the air ticket. So because that costs the most, so it's going to be great for your pocket. And they are also going to offer you a fully furnished apartment. It's either going to be on campus or off campus. The interns are also supported with visa and they're going to be held with insurance and any other local registration and such. If you move down, you can find that they have also provided a program flyer. You can click on this and understand about the same. Now you would want to know what kind of projects that this internship is offering and which all um, faculty members you'd be working under. So you can scroll down and you will see that there are uh, two application rounds for this particular internship. You can do an internship between October and March of any year or April to September of any year. I'm going to talk about this later in the video. You can scroll down and find the professor and the unit name also called the department or the projects that they're offering and the number of openings that they might have for any particular project. Now, that's not necessary that even if they have mentioned like one position or three position that they would be taking in terms for that particular year. So it totally depends on the professor. And here we find that the project description is mentioned. Find out which all projects interest you. Right. Now, once you're through by, by selecting your projects, you can directly move to the apply section of the OIST research internship page. Now, uh, if you move to this page, you'll find that like you would want to know who all can apply for this internship. So it's mentioned that bachelor students or master students can apply for this internship. So you'd want to know what's the application procedure, eligibility, application deadline, and all the documents that you'd be needing. So let's check that out one by one. So if we see the application procedure, it's mentioned that you need to fill out this, this online form. Like they'll be taking all of your uh, like personal details and the documents and such. Then you can submit your application only after you give at least one LOR with the online form, right? Only that, then your application would be accepted. After that, you will be notified via email or whatsoever. And like once you're through with your application, uh, you will get to know the result three months after the application deadline is completed, right? And then uh, according, to, according to that, you will be notified about all the confirmation, the next steps and such, if you're selected for this internship. Moving on to the eligibility, like as I mentioned before, uh, like undergraduate students, master's students in universities can apply for this internship. And like you should, it's necessary that you have an academic background, like based off on the project that you're applying. Now this is important, the application deadline. So since I told you, as it's mentioned on the website, there are two application deadlines for like in any year. 
so it's important to know that if you want to intern between april and september of any year then the deadline for the same is october of that year right so that is called the spring internship but if you want to intern uh, between october of march of any year then the application deadline would be april of any particular year so that is the fall internship it's important to note what all documents you would be needing before you start off uh, by applying to this uh, internship opportunity in the statement of purpose you need to mention like what all background you have what are going to you going to bring to the table how are you going to benefit the oist research internship like what are skills you have and like what do you hope to accomplish with this internship and like how is the research internship at oist going to benefit you in your future or is it going to align with your future aspirations moving on you need to submit an academic transcript then we have a recommendation letter now for this you need to provide the contact details of the people that you would be wanting a recommendation letter from because oist is directly going to reach out to those people and ask for a reference you don't have to prepare a reference letter by yourself and send it to oist through email right and you also need to upload an id photo and you can click on the application form page when you feel that you're ready to apply for this internship if you still have some questions unanswered and you have some doubts about the same you can go and click on the you know faq section of the oist internship page and they have covered most of the questions which you might have a doubt in but if still they remain unanswered then you can click on contact us button and directly reach out to the oist the concerned people and they'll help you out with the same as i was telling you before that this particular research internship is going to help you get a direct entry into the oist phd program they have a phd pathway program and you can read up about like what is the eligibility like like you can see that the re if all the research interns at oist once they are successfully through their with their internship they can directly apply to the phd that program that was about it uh, for how you can apply for the oist program if you believe that this is an internship for you depending upon your availability you can see that when you would want to apply for this internship either in the spring term or the fall term if you think that this video was uh, beneficial for you do give it a like and subscribe to my channel and share this video with all those people who can benefit from this video and stay tuned for more such videos i'll see you in the next one bye